Hi, this is Susan from Inner Wisdom Healing Arts. Thank you for joining me on my channel today. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about um, QHHT or the Quantum Healing Hypnosis Technique sessions and shamanic sessions and um, something that they both have in common is your higher self knows exactly what it is you need and there are times that other energies show up to support you on your journey and, th and this is a healing journey so these energies come in to support you in the best way possible i've had during sessions i've had a couple people that had dragons that showed up as protectors and um, angels have shown up at different times for people. And probably one of, um, one of the more interesting ones so far is uh, a woman had a chimpanzee show up, which was, and it even makes me smile. Um, and that's, it, it just brought such wonderful energy in and on multiple levels, it came in as a protector and it showed her um, exactly energetically how it, it uh, was surrounding her with this energy of protection. It brought such healing energy in the form of joy and laughter, uh, which was much needed. You know, there were times it went through, actually went through through the whole hypnosis session with her, which I had never had happen for a client also. A lot of times they'll show up for maybe a, a segment of the session and then um, and then they move on and the, the client goes into a different part of the hypnosis session. But uh, this chimpanzee uh, started at the beginning and went through the whole thing um, at one time. Um, it she was a young girl when it showed up she had this image of her being a young girl like around six and it was very playful and she talked about doing somersaults and another time um, when I asked her what was happening she said oh we're jumping up and down um, and you know it made her laugh so it was just this delightful energy um, at another time when she was telling me about an incident where she was teasing her brother, the uh, the chimpanzee just kind of gave her just this gentle little scolding um, about, you know, not doing that. Um, but mostly it was um, calming, reassuring, and encouraging. Um, and we did ask if this was her um, animal spirit, um, her animal totem, and it, and it was, it, it is. Um, so, and we hadn't asked for it. She already had a, a connection, uh, you know, with this animal. Um, but, you know, whatever shows up for you, you know, it might completely surprise you. Um, or it might be something really familiar that you go, oh, yeah, of course. And that doesn't, you know, doesn't surprise me at all. Uh, but we never ask specifically for something to show up. It, it just, uh, it, like I said, your higher self knows what you need during a session. And we, we're just open for that. But what you can do is I always have clients bring a list of questions. So if you have a curiosity about what maybe your animal totem is, um, uh, your spirit guides, whether they be angels or whatever form they be, may be in, you can bring questions about those, um, even questions about um, um, how you might be more aware of them, uh, maybe a feeling in your body that you know when you have a certain feeling in your body that you know they're trying to communicate with you. So... Uh, yeah, you can bring those questions along and we can explore it during your session. So um, you can actually go to my website now and uh, book your own session. Uh, look at my calendar. I, I finally figured uh, that piece of technology out. So that can make it a little easier. You're also um, 
you can also contact me if you have questions. I'm always happy to, you know, give you maybe like a free 15 minutes to, you know, maybe kind of sort through some questions, see maybe you just want to connect with me and see if this is a good fit for you. So, um, yeah, get, get your session booked. I'm, I'm, um, really excited about this work. It's very powerful work and there's just so much to be gained. So I'll see you soon. Thank you.